Welcome back to Kababayan Today. Nagbabalik tayo dito at kasama pa rin natin si Mia McLeod, soon to be Mrs. Mia Mercado. Now it's time to talk about all the fun events leading up to this destination wedding from a white engagement to bachelor parties, dress fittings with couture designer and friend of Kababayan Today's Oliver Talentino. Napakadaming masasayang buwan ang nakalipas all leading to the very big wedding day. So Mia, we're very excited and it seems like your family and all your friends are really there in support. Um, so many events have have are leading up to the wedding. Yes. How has it been so far? Let's talk about all the things that have happened. Oh, my, well, it's it's fun, mm -hmm. and it, the year goes by really fast. I mean, we were engaged on October 26, um, 2014, and here we are leading up to the wedding day. So everything goes by so fast, but I'm so grateful to see all the love from family and friends and the support that Len and I have and um, the fact that a lot of people again are flying back to the Philippines for this is just phenomenal. But I mean, I guess we can start at the engagement party. Yes, let's talk about the engagement party. It How was, was that? It was really fun. It was an all white theme. Mm -hmm. So everyone wore all white, but Len and I decided to wear red and we didn't tell anyone. So, you know, a lot of the fun photos that I think we're going to share here on the mm -hmm. show are there. It, it was really fun and I had a lot of drinks, a lot of people had a lot of drinks. Um, and Len surprised me again, oh gosh, by um, singing. Yeah. He I sang know. to you? Yeah, yeah, and this was funny, because he said Bobby Caldwell was coming out, and he fooled everyone. The room was quiet, and everyone was like, okay, welcome, Bobby Caldwell. And then everyone was looking Your at the voices, court, yeah. And then all of a sudden, everyone was looking, and then he's like on this mic, and we're just like, I swear, you couldn't hear anyone talk. It was quiet in that room, because I think everyone was just like, Woo! Shocked and surprised because they don't know that Len sings. Yeah, well, he actually has a lot of secrets. He plays the piano too. The thing about Len, from what you're describing to me, it's like the love that he shows you in his smile. He's always trying to surprise you and bring a smile to your face, diba? Malambing na malambing talaga. Yeah, yeah, he no, he really is. And, and is. also, he's he's a very fun-loving guy. Yeah. I've, I've had the opportunity to meet your fiance. He's always yes. got a smile on his yes. face. Yes, yes. Super charming, very, per and you know, I always joke with him because women love him, but I know which women. It's like, <laughs> it's the certain age group that I have to watch out for. It's like the 50s and plus. Oh, they diba? love him. <laughs> We're at the supermarket. Aba, eh, syempre, pag nakita ka, na, uh, oh nakita siya niyang such a kita, gentleman. Diba? Yeah, he's oh, such a gentleman, oh. and I think that's, uh, and this is part of the reason why, you know, I really love him. It's so weird to say that, but it's because, he has that old school gentleman factor, but he still has that young, youthful. Like you gotta blend. Oh, oh. So it's at, really at yun great. ang talagang makikita mo sa Pinoy. Yeah, diba? yeah, that's diba? so Maalaga. True. Yes, yeah. no, yeah. The care is so different. Like I said before, I never thought I was gonna marry a Filipino and someone who spoke Tagalog. Someone pa. who spoke Tagalog, uh -oh. and then but there are just so many great um, traits about Filipino men. Too. Yes, and yeah. and as a Filipina also. Because he's Filipino, diba? there are things about our family that it's, it's just it's easier. Yes. Yeah, it really is a lot like easier to just kind of okay. understand. Okay, so let's talk about the decision to get married in the Philippines when you guys live here in I California. Know. I know. Who made this decision? Two crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Two crazy people in love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like scratching my head with it around the corner like, wow, this is crazy. But we're, again, we're so excited. Um, we knew we didn't want to have it here. We definitely want to have it. a destination wedding. Mm -hmm. um, well, again, being in business and things like that, we do host a lot of events mm -hmm. here. And it's um, common for us to kind of get out in the community. And so for something like this that's more private and personal, we really wanted it to be something more private and personal. So um, we thought by bringing it over there and to a country that is the birthplace of our parents, a country that we connect with and love so, so dearly, I think so. And it's definitely going to bring back wonderful memories yes. years and years from now. Yeah, my mom's when, excited and my grandma. I'm so blessed course. to be able to have my grandma. Yes, because they're all it. going back to the they're, Philippines. I know, I know. And, and my grandpa's no longer with us, but the fact that I still have my grandma, my mom, myself, and my sister, like three generations to be able to witness is really nice. All right, when we return here on Kababayan Today, makakausap naman natin ang fiancé and husband-to-be na si Leonard Mercado of Mia.
soon to be Mrs. Mercado. Don't go away, we'll be right back here on Cover Vine today.